2 Kings 13 In the twenty-third year of Joash, the son of Ahaziah, king of Judah, Jehoaz, the son of Jehu, became king over Israel at Samaria, and he reigned seventeen years. And he did what was evil in the sight of Yahweh, and followed the sins of Jeroboam, the son of Nebat, with which he made Israel sin. He did not depart from them. So the anger of Yahweh burned against Israel, and he gave them continually into the hand of Haziel, king of Aram, and into the hand of Ben-Hadad, the son of Haziel. Then Jehoaz entreated the face of Yahweh, and Yahweh listened to him, for he saw the oppression of Israel, how the king of Aram oppressed them. And Yahweh gave Israel a savior, so that they came out from under the hand of the Arameans, and the sons of Israel lived in their tents as formerly. Nevertheless, they did not depart from the sins of the house of Jeroboam, with which he made Israel sin, but walked in them. And the Asherah also remained standing in Samaria. For he did not leave to Jehoaz any people for the army except fifty horsemen in ten chariots and ten thousand foot soldiers. For the king of Aram had caused them to perish, and made them like the dust at threshing. Now the rest of the acts of Jehoaz and all that he did in his might, are they not written in the book of the chronicles of the kings of Israel? And Jehoaz slept with his fathers, and they buried him in Samaria. And Joash his son became king in his place. In the thirty-seventh year of Joash king of Judah, Jehoash the son of Jehoaz became king over Israel and Samaria, and reigned sixteen years. And he did what was evil in the sight of Yahweh. He did not depart from all the sins of Jeroboam the son of Nebat, with which he made Israel sin, but he walked in them. Now the rest of the acts of Joash and all that he did and his might with which he fought against Amaziah king of Judah, are they not written in the book of the chronicles of the kings of Israel? So Joash slept with his fathers, and Jeroboam sat on his throne, and Joash was buried in Samaria with the kings of Israel. Now Elisha became sick with the illness of which he was to die. So Joash the king of Israel came down to him and wept over him and said, My father, my father, the chariots of Israel and its horsemen. And Elisha said to him, Take a bow and arrows. So he took a bow and arrows. Then he said to the king of Israel, Put your hand on the bow. And he put his hand on it. Then Elisha placed his hands on the king's hands. And he said, Open the window toward the east. And he opened it. Then Elisha said, Shoot. And he shot. And he said, Yahweh's arrow of salvation, even the arrow of salvation over Aram, for you will strike the Arameans at Aphek until you have consumed them. Then he said, Take the arrows, and he took them. And he said to the king of Israel, Strike the ground, and he struck it three times and stood still. So the man of God was angry with him and said, You should have struck five or six times. Then you would have struck Aram until you would have consumed it. But now you shall strike Aram only three times. And Elisha died, and they buried him. Now the marauding bands of the Moabites would enter into the land in the spring of the year. Now it happened that they were burying a man, and behold, they saw a marauding band, and they cast the man into the grave of Elisha. And when the man touched the bones of Elisha, he became alive and stood up on his feet. Now Haziel, king of Aram, had oppressed Israel all the days of Jehoaz. But Yahweh was gracious to them, and had compassion on them, and turned to them because of his covenant with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and would not bring them to ruin, or cast them from his presence until now. Then Haziel, king of Aram, died, and Ben-Hadad, his son, became king in his place. Then Jehoash the son of Jehoaz took again from the hand of Ben-Hadad the son of Haziel the cities which he had taken in war from the hand of Jehoaz his father. Three times Joash struck him and recovered the cities of Israel. 2 Timothy 3 But know this, that in the last days difficult times will come. For men will be lovers of self, lovers of money, boastful, arrogant, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, ungrateful, unholy, unloving, irreconcilable, malicious gossips, without self-control, without gentleness, without love for good, treacherous, reckless, conceited, lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God, holding to a form of godliness but having denied its power, 
Keep away from such men as these. For among them are those who enter into households and take captive weak women weighed down with sins, being led on by various desires, always learning and never able to come to the full knowledge of the truth. But just as Janus and Jambres opposed Moses, so these men also oppose the truth, men of depraved mind, disqualified in regard to the faith. But they will not make further progress, for their folly will be obvious to all, just as theirs was also. But you followed my teaching, conduct, purpose, faith, patience, love, perseverance, persecutions, and sufferings, such as happened to me at Antioch, at Iconium, and at Lystra. What persecutions I endured, and out of them all the Lord rescued me. Indeed, all who desire to live godly in Christ Jesus will be persecuted. But evil men and impostors will proceed from bad to worse, deceiving and being deceived. But you continue in the things you learned and became convinced of, knowing from whom you learned them, and that from childhood you have known the sacred writings which are able to make you wise unto salvation through faith which is in Christ Jesus. All Scripture is God-breathed and profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction, for training in righteousness, so that the man of God may be equipped having been thoroughly equipped for every good work. Hosea 5 Hear this, O priest, give heed, O house of Israel. Give ear, O house of the king, for the judgment is for you, for you have been a snare at Mizpah, and a net spread out on Tabor. And the revolters have dug deep into slaughtering, but I will chastise all of them. I know Ephraim, and Israel is not hidden from me. For now, O Ephraim, you have played the harlot. Israel has defiled itself. Their deeds will not allow them to return to their God. For a spirit of harlotry is within them, and they do not know Yahweh. Moreover, the pride of Israel answers against them, and Israel and Ephraim stumble in their iniquity. Judah also has stumbled with them. They will go with their flocks and herds to seek Yahweh, but they will not find him. He is withdrawn from them. They have dealt treacherously against Yahweh, for they have borne children of strangers. Now the new moon will devour them with their portions. Blow the horn in Gibeah, the trumpet in Ramah. Make a loud shout at Beth-Avon. Behind you, Benjamin. Ephraim will become a desolation in the day of reproof. Among the tribes of Israel I will make known what is true. The princes of Judah have become like those who move a boundary. On them I will pour out my wrath like water. Ephraim is oppressed, crushed in judgment, because he is determined to walk after man's command. Therefore I am like a moth to Ephraim, and like rottenness to the house of Judah. Then Ephraim saw his sickness, and Judah his sore. So Ephraim went to Assyria and sent to King Jerob. But he is unable to heal you, or to cure you of your sore. For I will be like a lion to Ephraim, and like a young lion to the house of Judah. I, even I, will tear to pieces and go away. I will carry away, and there will be none to deliver. I will go away and return to my place, until they acknowledge their guilt and seek my face. In their affliction they will seek me earnestly. Hosea 6 Come, let us return to Yahweh, for he has torn us, but he will heal us. He has struck us, but he will bandage us. He will make us alive after two days. He will raise us up on the third day, that we may live before him. So let us know, let us pursue to know Yahweh. His going forth is established as the dawn, and he will come to us like the rain, like the late rain watering the earth. What shall I do with you, O Ephraim? What shall I do with you, O Judah? For your loving kindness is like a morning cloud, and like the dew which goes away early. Therefore I have hewn them in pieces by the prophets, I have killed them by the words of my mouth, and the judgments on you are like the light that goes forth. For I delight in loving kindness rather than sacrifice, and in the knowledge of God rather than burnt offerings. But like Adam they have trespassed against the covenant, there they have dealt treacherously against me. Gilead is a city of workers of iniquity, with a track of blood. And as raiders wait for a man, so a band of priests murder on the way to Shechem. 
Surely they have committed lewdness. In the house of Israel I have seen an appalling thing. Ephraim's harlotry is there. Israel has defiled itself. Also, O Judah, there is a harvest set for you when I restore the fortunes of my people. Psalm 119, 145 through 176. Kof, I called with all my heart. Answer me, O Yahweh. I will observe your statutes. I called to you, save me, and I shall keep your testimonies. I eagerly greet the dawn and cry for help. I wait for your words. My eyes eagerly greet the night watches, that I may muse on your word. Hear my voice according to your loving kindness. O Yahweh, revive me according to your judgments. Near are those who pursue wickedness. They are far from your law. Near are you, O Yahweh, and all your commandments are truth. Of old I have known from your testimonies that you have founded them forever. Resh. See my affliction and rescue me, for I do not forget your law. Plead my cause and redeem me. Revive me according to your word. Salvation is far from the wicked, for they do not seek your statutes. Many are your compassions, O Yahweh. Revive me according to your judgments. Many are my persecutors and my adversaries, yet I do not turn aside from your testimonies. I see the treacherous and loathe them, those who do not keep your word. See how I love your precepts. O Yahweh, revive me according to your loving kindness. The sum of your word is truth, and every one of your righteous judgments is everlasting. Sin, Shin Princes persecute me without cause, but my heart is in dread of your words. I rejoice at your word as one who finds much spoil. I hate and abhor lying, but I love your law. Seven times a day I praise you because of your righteous judgments. Those who love your law have much peace, and nothing causes them to stumble. I hope for your salvation, O Yahweh, and I do your commandments. My soul keeps your testimonies, and I love them exceedingly. I keep your precepts and your testimonies, for all my ways are before you. Tav. Let my cry of lamentation come near before you, O Yahweh. Give me understanding according to your word. Let my supplication come before you. Deliver me according to your word. Let my lips pour forth praise, for you teach me your statutes. Let my tongue answer with your word, for all your commandments are righteous. Let your hand be ready to help me, for I have chosen your precepts. I long for your salvation, O Yahweh, and your law is my delight. Let my soul live that it may praise you, and let your judgments help me. I have wandered off like a lost sheep. Search for your slave, for I have not forgotten your commandments.